Well, welcome back to Houston Life. Happening in Houston this weekend, the 51st Chevron Houston Marathon. Thousands of runners will participate, including our next guests who are running to shine a spotlight on a cause that's very close to their hearts. Glenda Newman and fellow runner Patrick Presgrove, COO of Team Catapult, are here with more on their efforts ahead of this weekend's half and full marathon. Welcome to you both. It's great to see you. Mm -hmm. And you let's having. talk about Team Catapult. I know that your organization, you're one of a handful of organizations who will be running for a great cause, but Catapult essentially helps raise funds to allow athletes like yourself, Patrick, to be able to participate in competitive sports. That's right. You want to speak on it, Glenda? What's that? You want to speak on it? Yeah, sure. So Team Catapult um, is an organization that helps athletes with disabilities, um, adaptive athletes. So basically they cover their cost for the prosthetics um, and their race fees. So. Um, it's a little known fact, but the prosthetics are not covered by insurance. Yeah. Um, and I just, that breaks my heart. But, um, but then we have somebody who kind of fills in the gap. So Team Catapult does a great job at, at that. So. And it's really incredible. Glenda, you are a seasoned runner and you run for a cause uh, for the marathon with Team Catapult. You've also been um, a, uh, not a, a chaperone, but what do you call, um, you're a spotter. A for, guide. A guide for yes. some of these runners as well. Um, why was this so near and dear to you uh, and to run for Patrick and, and other athletes? Um, I try to make the run something that's outside of me, um, just to give it a purpose. If it's about me, then I seem to lose interest quicker. So I realized that raising money um, for like my race for my run was very became very important. Um, so then I teamed up with Patrick, and I went to a few guiding practices, and I I just fell in love with it. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity to. Um, kind of combine both passions. It's so nice uh, seeing the still photos and the video. Um, clearly, you two have a strong bond and a friendship. And Patrick, in addition to running, you work as an accountant. But th the reason you're on the ground there <laughs> is you're a photographer. Tell okay. us about your photography hobby and business. I got into photography um, in 2020 during the pandemic. Um, being a runner myself, I have a whole, a whole bunch of photos of me running. And I wanted to learn how to take photos of my friends, so I do that now on the side. It's that, really it's awesome. In, it's incredible. And also when you're out running, it's such a big part of a, a runner's life to be out on a trail. So to have beautiful photographs on that trail is, is a very nice gift. And uh, Patrick, a little bit about you. At 14 uh, is when you had your elective uh, amputations for both legs. What was it like for you to run your first half? Uh, was it like for you to get your prosthetics? I mean, th that was life-changing for you, both losing your legs and getting the adaptive equipment. 100%. Uh, running was never even an option before my amputations. And it wasn't until about five years after my amputations that I even knew an amputee couldn't run. And that was when I met uh, uh, local, another athlete who's a Paralympian named Mark Barr, he introduced me at Catapults the year after they were founded, and he told me that running is an option if you're an amputee, but at the same time, there are barriers to you becoming a runner as an amputee. So Catapults stepped in, and other organizations stepped in, and years later, here we are, raising money to spread that mission as far as we can. It's incredible. One of the biggest barriers, Patrick, is f the financial barrier faced by so many people. Glenda, as you mentioned, uh, the running blades, as they're known, they are not covered by insurance because they are considered an elective uh, accessory, a want to have, not a need to have. Talk to us about the response from some of the other athletes who have received some of these running blades so they can get out and once again feel like they're themselves. I can tell you, the, on top of the physical benefits to being active, the mental rewards just to be able to go outside and go for a walk or a run. I mean, I am not the person I was before I became a runner, and that wasn't possible without the adaptive equipment that I have to have. So we have an annual grant program where we give out funding and running blades to applicants all over the world and the response that they give back is very similar to my own, their experience where 
running or walking or jogging or going to the park with your kids yeah. was not an option before. And receiving that is just opening a whole world of opportunity. It really is life changing and it's really incredible to see this full circle moment. Run for a reason charity program uh, that happens every year at the Houston Marathon and Half Marathon. That's where all the money is raised for all these local charities. 64 uh, charitable partners in the program. Uh, can people donate to your page? Yes, yes they can. <laughs> this is, I'm so excited. Um, so um, there is a page, um, and I think we're going to share the link. We are, that. yeah. We'll okay. have the link for you. But that that is open and ready to go. Yes. Yes. Um, by the way, if you're not running, go out and cheer on all the runners because that is really what makes the moment for so many yeah. of these runners, yes, especially sure. when they just start yelling your name on your bib. Yeah. yeah, and you know, like it's it's incredible. It's a it's a it's life giving. Honestly, when you're like when your soul is like about to die yeah it just it's so life-giving so yeah thanks to all the volunteers and of course the the people who come and cheer glenda newman patrick presgrove thank you so much for your time here on houston life and best of luck this weekend Good we'll luck. be cheering you, you on you and we'll yeah. see you at the catapult gala on february yeah, we will. as yes. well for more information about the chevron houston marathon's run for a reason charity program or to connect with team catapult you can visit the scene on houston life section of our website houstonlife.tv and it looks like weather is going to be great on sunday